Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be making some pretty buttons today uh, to put on my clusters for my junk journals. Yeah, it's pretty that side, isn't it? Weren't so pretty on that side. You can see why I've uh, prettied it up, can't you? And all I've used is napkin. I've used some matte gel medium. I'm not sure I need that. I think PVA may work, so we're going to try that as well. And a brush. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I've used. So let's just crack on and get one made. Right, I've got this lovely napkin that I got recently from Helen's Homewares in the UK on eBay. She does some gorgeous napkins. That is where, whenever you see me use nice napkins, unless they're Happy Mail, that's usually where I've got them from. So I will leave a link in the description. I honestly don't know if she does international shipping. I'm just picking... I do like that big butterfly, like I used on the other one. So let's try this one off edge, that'll be better. Yeah, I'm just going to rip. I could perhaps get a little button there with other little bits of... Is it lavender? Yes, yeah, lavender. Lilacs on trees, lavenders on the floor. <laughs> That's how I remember. They just look the same to me. Although they probably they don't look anything like each other. Just show up. Right. Oh, I'll use a wooden button to start as, yeah, I'm going to try plastic buttons. Don't know if it works on plastic buttons, I haven't tried it. That's the only one I've done that was successful. I did a couple of unsuccessful ones because I put my matte medium on at wrong point and I tried doing one with a spun one of these instead of a brush and it basically just wiped my napkin off, which weren't good. Right, so uh, I'm going to do the decoupage in a la Fiona, I'm going to call it. It's the way that Miss Paint-a-Lot, Fiona, does her napkin decoupage. She doesn't put any glue, medium or anything underneath. She does it on the top. I'm just going to come in and grab a blob. In fact, I will... I can see me putting some in that. I'll put a blob on my mat. I'm using my purple messy mat. And I'm just going to go over from the centre to the outside with my matte gel medium. Yeah, I think I would, yeah. I'm going to try one with PVA, but I think matte gel medium is better because it's non-sticky when it dries and it's non-shiny. But if you want your button a bit shiny, then, yeah. I imagine you could do this with Mod Podge. Personally, don't like it. I find it shinier than it's supposed to be, even the matte one. I've never tried, uh, is it Collage Podge? We don't have that in the UK. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do that. Now, the other one I did, I left it to dry on its own. But we haven't got that much time, have we? And I don't want to pause the video and come back in an hour. So I'm going to try and heat it with my heat gun. It's my Ranger Heat It too. It's not too noisy. So hopefully you can still hear me waffle. I've got a few wrinkles in that, but I ain't going to worry. I think my motto lately is we're not looking for perfection. <laughs> and I, look, I've put handle at glue in my little pile of glue. So, I've used so much napkin there as well so I could fold it like that while I painted it on. I mean, I was thinking of all ideas. I could put a sticky pad underneath to hold it. Then I thought, no, don't be that tight with your napkins. We know we want to use every little bit we can but don't be tight to the point that you're in your project woman now that looks lovely i think it looks lovely and then all i've done is i've got a nail file when i was cutting uh i did some journal cards and i was cutting the edges and one of my subscribers did say you can do the edges with a nail file I'm just too lazy to do it with a nail file on uh, paper. <laughs> if it's straight, I'll just chop at it with scissors. Whereas this, it's round. No way could I cut this. I'm going to use rougher side. Until it just comes away. And there we have a nice pretty button. I'm quite happy with that. 
Now, on the other one, I went in and I just did that just to get rid of the black that were on the other side so that when it's on my project, you won't see it. Then I grabbed a pokey tool uh, and I can see where the holes are on this button and I just poked in. And if you feel you need to put a bit of glue in to keep it there, do that. I will just be very careful when I sew it on. I'll be quite happy with it like this. It's not like I'm going to be selling them or putting them on clothing or anything. So there we have it. That's gorgeous. Two pretty butterfly buttons. So let's try a smaller one. I want to use that bit of lavender. I could use an even star. I've also got some of these. That's an horrible dodgy piece of wood on that button. So again, I can just put some on the back. I could, I could perhaps do more than one button at a time. That's just a check. That might look good showing through. Yeah, let's do that and that both at the same time and see what occurs. Yeah, so it's, it's one of them, you've seen what to do now, so yeah. Pause the video, grab your stuff and make some women. Oh, turn me off and go and watch Gilmore Girls. <laughs> That's what I've been watching today. You don't have to watch me. <laughs> Wee. That's one. I mean, if you're really industrious and... <laughs> A lot more organised than me. You could perhaps put buttons under a full napkin and go for it. Right, I need a bit more matte medium. This is definitely cheaper than buying pretty buttons. I'll show you what prompted me to this, what gave me this idea. I saw some really gorgeous butterfly buttons and I bought them. And it were, they're not mega expensive, it's not mega but i can be a bit of a cheapskate with some things me i'm from yorkshire we like a bargain and what did i pay four pound fifty for 16 buttons and i'm like that's like what <laughs> that's 25p a button that's 25p a button that's a lot of money for a button well it is to me i like to get 100 buttons for <laughs> that amount of money at least right, let's dry these and then I thought, ooh, I've, I'd got these butterfly napkins and it was Fiona who prompted me to buy some butterfly napkins because she did a gorgeous project the other week where she did some napkin decoupage using these butterfly napkins. So I went on eBay looking for butterfly napkins. These are not the same, but they're equally as pretty. So I'm going to remember to link Fiona today. I keep saying I'm going to link Fiona, then I forget. But if you just type in Miss Paint a lot to search by you'll find her. She does some fabulous projects. So yeah I'm using napkins I was prompted to look for by Fiona using the decoupage method that I learnt from Fiona. So yeah this one's down to you Fiona. Now, I'm not saying it's my it's not a new idea decoupaging buttons I'm guessing I'm not the first button decoupager. Now I think, because I, I have, I've bowed my mat underneath, you silly woman. You know me, this one, I've done that to more than one mat because I'm just using my thin. It is heat proof, this one I'm using, but the one underneath it isn't. Silly woman. Right, I got this one out to put down before I use my heat tool and I forgot. Oh, it'll be right. It'll, it'll sink back to normal. I normally do things like this on a glass mat, but I can't get a setup for recording my videos that don't cause an awful lot of glare on my glass mat at the moment, so I don't use it. Which is very sad. So I'm back to using my old heatproof mats. Well, the mat's heat proof, but if you're going to hold the heat gun on it for that amount of time, it's going to bubble your mat underneath. Well, I forgot what they're made of, these. Them self-healing mats. 
I don't buy expensive ones of them though. Hmm. I think I could do a new nail file. This one's not got a lot of oomph left in it. Right, there we go. I'm not sure how I feel about this one that I decoupaged on top of the checks. In fact, I think I liked this napkin on white buttons better. It just looks a bit... I'm saying a bit man manky. <laughs> manky, mucky, dirty. I suppose I can live with that. I'll probably ink the edge of this one. Right, let's poke the holes through. I can't believe I've tried ruining my mark. There were probably people watching who saw. <laughs> they could see it bump a bit. Look, it's like... It reminds me of counting half. You know when you play with that game, frustration, and you pop it and then dice spring up in air? Yeah. Well, we had frustration in UK. Hmm. Not my favourite, that one. I'm not quite sure I like the napkin over these wood buttons. But I have got a solution to that. Well, one, you could paint it white to start off, which I'm not about to start doing. Or two, you could use a coloured napkin. Yeah, I'm not too keen on them, too. They're okay. Let's put a bit of ink on. Yes, I'm using Distress Ink over matte medium. It does dry eventually. Especially if you apply some heat to it or spray it with airspray to set it. Mm. Mm, yeah, I think they're looking so fresh and clean and bright white that next to it, them just look a bit mm, dirty, dirty little buttons. We're not liking you. Right, I'm going to also try with some of this stuff. In fact, I've done one once before with this. It's the Tim Holtz collage paper. Yeah. So I'm going to try one of these. I'm sure I did that onto a brown button. And you don't... It looks nice. It looks cleaner. So yeah, I'm going to try, I'll rip a bit of that off. And then after I've done this, we're going to try doing some on plastic buttons. So that'll be interesting, seeing colour through, won't it? <laughs> it's, it's like it's starting to go flat again now, that. I think I want that bird's face. Yeah, let's put the birdie face on. Now, with this, it's not going to go through. You can't put the matte medium on top. You've got to put it on the button. So. Right, I'm going to try that. <laughs> and I'm using my sponge. Seems to have got it nice and even. Touch that about edge. Plop it down. I'm going to stick the birdie's face on. And then I'm going to put some more matte medium over the top. I think I'll use brush this time. I don't want to rip the paper. It's not as porous, this collage paper, as your napkin is. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I've got that side done. There you go. Put them back in my napkin to keep in my baby wipe to keep them damp. And this time I'm gonna use this mat. It soaks the heat up better. There we go. Well, like I say, you don't need the seat gun. It does dry on its own in however long. 
think I, I don't know if it were half an hour or an hour. Oh, shut up, Gertrude. We don't need your input, missus. I wouldn't expect you to know about that. When it's getting dry, you can see it starts to shrink around edge at bottom. I think I'm gonna... Oh, it starts to bubble up a little bit, that. I'm gonna call that dry and I'm gonna come in and do the edge. If you're unsure, just leave it, make sure it's bone dry. Worst that's going to happen is it'll pull a bit of your napkin off. Hmm. <laughs> One at Buttonholes is going to be right in the middle of his eye. So Buttonholes is going to look like that poor little bird his eye. So yeah, I can see what Buttonholes are. I like that one. Can you see what I mean? It doesn't look as... Yeah, they just look come out looking a bit dingy. I think that's because the lavender needed to be on white, didn't it? So I'm going to save the lavender napkin for white buttons. This one I quite like. It's a cute little broody. Yeah, I like him. Right, I'm going to get a whirl on a plastic button. I think I may need to delve into my button tub to get some white buttons out to do the butterflies. So I'm just going to pause two ticks. And I'm back. Look at these big chompy white buttons I've got. These have been hanging about from... I did some button snowmen years ago. And I've just got so many. I always buy more than I need or everything. I've just got this bulk buy mentality, what can I say? And I also grabbed a couple more napkins... Again, I bought these from Helen's Homewares as well. So you'll find these ones. There's another lovely purple butterfly one. Some flowers. And then that one. Ooh, that's like, that would be a lovely journal cover, wouldn't it? So I think I'm going to try one at flower ones. So let's have a laugh at me doing napkin. Ooh, another top tip from a subscriber. Uh, she does, this lady, I can never, I do apologise, I don't remember names. So if you're disgusted at the fact that I don't remember people's names, then I suggest you go to another video. <laughs> uh, anyone who watches me regular knows what my memory's like. And some days I can't remember my own name, and it is true. I've done it. Yeah, anyway, this lady, she irons the napkins because she does decoupage onto wood. And she says the added bonus of ironing the napkin is you get the creases out and... It gets the layers apart, so that's fabulous to know. But if I'd have struggled, I'd have cracked iron out. But I seem to have done all right with this one. Although I have just noticed something, and this can happen. Part of the front layer has stayed on that. Well, again, that doesn't bother me. I'm not decoupaging furniture and selling it. I'm doing junk journals. Yeah, there's just a teeny tiny little hole in that piece. But what I want to do, what I want to do, is I want to get one of these flowers and one of these big white buttons. I'm not going to decoupage that bit. I'm going to do the flat bit. So you move all these plastic buttons don't like moving on this mat. Well, that's going to be pretty. But let's try the... Let's try that one first. Yeah, look at that. Right, let's see. I honestly don't know if there's going to be any trouble getting this to dry on a plastic button. It should be alright because it is a, it's a matte medium, not just a glue. So, because it's napkin again, I'm not putting any underneath. I'm just going over the top of napkin. Because it is porous and enough goes through to stick it. Well, I haven't showed you them buttons I was moaning at, have I? I forgot that. Yeah, I'll show you the buttons I was moaning about. <laughs> £4.50 for 16. They're absolutely gorgeous, though. Yeah, you're supposed to go from the centre to outside. But I can be a little bit naughty. And then when my napkin tears, I can cry. 
Right. You know what? I'm going to pop that under there. There we go. For the drying. Or maybe I suppose if I just lift the mat up. There we go. Then I'm not drying directly onto my mat underneath. Self healing mat. What are they made of? I can't remember. How's this? It seems to be drying. The napkin's shrinking back like it did on the wooden one. Oh, it seems fine. I don't know what it's going to be like when I sand the edges. Sanding plastic. But... Do you know that seems to have dried just as quick as it did on the wood? So let's... Let's see. I'm going to use rougher side. Oh, I love it. Pleasantly surprised by that. Although that's not completely dry because my finger were a bit stuck to it. Maybe I could do a bigger nail file or a coarser one, but this was the only one I had. Yeah, I might have missed a bit of edge there with glue, but really not bothered. It's for a junk journal. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Wow, is that I like? Oh, yeah. Let's find middle at button. Now, these are pretty big holes, so I'm going to try and find you end of this paintbrush. Make an indent. There we go. Then I'm going to go through it, poke into just like that. Now it looks like a button. Oh, I'm quite happy with that one. I could sit and make these all day. Look at them. Right, let me show you buttons I was moaning about. Where have I put them? Where are your pretty buttons? Pretty expensive buttons. Where did you go? Here we go. I mean, they are nice. I will link them on my Amazon if anybody wants any. I just saw them and thought, how gorgeous are they? And I had to have them. You know what I'm like with butterflies. Look at that. They're lovely. But everyone is the same. <laughs> I shouldn't moan that everyone's the same. Because they're nice. But it would have been nicer to have a bit of variety. But yeah, they are a bit nice. Let me just alt it lighting. Oh, that might be a bit too bright. Oh, that's even brighter. I do apologise if that's too bright. It's better than not being able to see, isn't it? So, yeah, these they were nice. But, yeah, I've managed to make that. And they didn't cost me <laughs> that much each. But, hey-ho, I like them all. I'll use them all. But I've got these things hanging about, all the buttons, I've got the napkins, I've got the glue. I weren't going to use the buttons for anything else, so I thought this were a good way of using them. Right, let's do a couple more because I'm enjoying it. We need to do another flower, don't we? Right, I want to get this pretty purple, pretty pink flower on there we go. So I'll get some more. I'll squeeze a bit out onto my mat again. Not where my napkins go. That were a big squeeze. I can see this going horribly wrong. Can you? It's just off camera that you can't see it. But yeah, I've put far too much matte medium out. There's enough to do about 20 buttons. Oops. My finger was stuck. Don't rip it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, very pretty. It's 
not like me to go that quiet, is it? I just really didn't want to rip that napkin. Because there's only, there's only four of those flowers on each napkin. So I would have been gutted to have lost even one. Right, let's dry. Lift my mat up a bit. It seems to have gone back flat now, my mat, underneath. If I kept doing that time and time again, it would probably be permanently ruined, but it isn't. These would be brilliant to do a mass make. I mean, if you had just kept painting them on and popping them over to one side, you may would you may not even have to come in with eat two because they will have dried, wouldn't they? Yeah. It's only me because I'm doing this on camera and I'm quite impatient. <laughs> and if you do find that when it's dry, there's little places where it's not stuck, just go over again with matte medium. That's other beauty to collaging like this. Right, here we go. Nail file. I mean, especially if you've got the kind of napkin that was a very, quite a small repeating pattern, you'd get loads of buttons out of one of them. I need to go and delve into the rest of my napkin stash, see what I've got. Right, last thing I'm going to try is the um, Tim Holtz collage paper onto plastic buttons. But I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy without napkin goes on plastic button. And it feels so nice. But I can't see the holes again. So I'm just going to feel from the end of that paintbrush. It's because the pattern's so busy over where holes are. There we go, I can see them now. If you hold them up to... Oh, I've got glue all over me. Don't know I did that. Why am I covered in glue? <laughs> Matte medium. I'm like a big kid. Good job I wear old, old clothes to craft in. There we go. So that's the big ones. We've got a birdie. We've got that one. I've lost the other one I did. I don't know what happened to that. That could be anywhere. I've not been anywhere. How have I lost a button? Or oh, it'll be in this stash somewhere. It'll have got turned upside down. You never know with me. I could have tiddlywinked it off to Timbuk too. I could have. Oh, pretty, pretty. So let's try the collage paper now onto plastic. That's the last one I wanted to try. I mean, you could go mad. You could do this on lollipop sticks. You know, those little short ones I normally put holes in. It would be fabulous on them. But I'm liking, if you want to preserve the colours on the napkin, yeah, the wood buttons, if they're white, you're okay, but we don't like that grunginess we were getting. Right. Tim Holtz collage paper, where have you gone? I'll use part of the bit that I'd already ripped off. So we're going to get this here with the writing on. Yeah, Ooh, we've got a bit of green there. No, we're not really going to get much of green on. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so we need to get... <laughs> Wee. There's probably better ways of doing this than this, but... Sometimes I'm too lazy to go and get something that I know will work better, so I just use what's to hand. And I doubt I'm the only one who does that. It's like sometimes a parcel will come and I'll be trying for ages to open it, peeling bits off when I know I need a pair of scissors or a knife. But then you get to a point where I'm not. I refuse to get a pair of scissors or a knife to help me open this package. It will open with my bare hands alone. And then you end up having to give up, don't you? Well, I do. I'll smooth that on my finger. And then we're going to put another layer on with the brush. Middle to outside works best. Then watch me not do that. Ooh, 
don't go too fast, don't get too giddy, because you could rip your collage paper. Says me, going a bit too fast and getting a bit too giddy. Whee. So you've obviously clicked on this video already. So you've seen all the buttons that are going to be in my thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm just going to I'm going to make some more me while video uploads heat tool. I'm going to glue a load more on, leave them to air dry while I go and make tea. And then I'm going to sand the edges off after my tea's made and eaten. And then I'll take that as a photograph for my thumbnail for video. So you're going to see loads of videos in the thumbnail. Loads of videos? No, you're not. You're going to see loads of buttons. This seems to be working pretty good as well, people. We like. I mean, if you don't, even if you don't have any uh, real buttons, you could make some. Use your hole punch. Put some circles that you could. In fact, no. If you're making them out of cardboard, it'd be far more sensible to to, uh, to decoupage a full sheet of card and then punch your circles, wouldn't it? Of course, it would. Eee. That weren't quite dry, so I'm just getting it another dry. I think that's because we're using the non-porous collage paper on the plastic button. So it's took a little bit longer to dry. Seems okay now though. Yep. No idea why there's red on the other side of that button. Reason 26 why I want to use the other side. That button's hot. <laughs> Let's, it's it's sipper tea time. Ah, because I've had to heat it up more than I did with napkin. It's plastic and it's got much hotter than a wood button. Let's wave it. Ooh. What's that? Oh, there you go. Just it's um yeah, it's about five o'clock here, and the sun keeps coming and going. We've got bright blue sky and big fluffy white clouds. So the sun's one minute it's behind a cloud, next minute it's not. And I don't think I've kept up with alternate light on my camera. My other option was to shut all curtains and put electric lights on, but that's not happening. It's very oppressive in my tiny little craft room when there's when curtains are shut, I really don't like it. Even at night when it's dark, it's fine. It's just when them curtains are shut. Right. Yep, so that works just as good. We've got a little piece there. I've pulled the, yeah, the decoupage, the napkin off a little bit by accident. That was because I was just getting a little bit giddy, weren't I? That's our four. Poke our holes. So, yeah, it's still a little bit damp there. That's the first one where we've had the glue still damp. That's because it's going to take a little bit longer for that moisture to evaporate between that non-porous paper. Or should we say it's got to be porous to some extent or it wouldn't have dried at all, would it? But not like a napkin is. Right, so that's that one. We've done that one. We've done the flood of eyes, the flower. There's, I will, in that one, even though I'll show you. Don't worry if some bits of your napkin are missing. This was one of my prototypes I did before I switched camera on. And if, I don't know if you can see there, I pulled some of the napkin off, but you'd never know now, would you, looking at it? You'd never know. So, like I say, does not have to be perfect. That is still, I would still use that button 
on a cluster from our junk journals. Even this one where I'd pulled loads off. Let's see what it looks like when I've filed the edges off. Oh, I'm getting really vicious with this filing now, aren't I? Maybe that's what I needed before instead of tickling it. There you go. This button was a little bit faulty on back as well. It had lines on. So I think I might collage over this one with something else. But that said, I think that's still pretty enough for a junk journal. Right, there we go. So, decoupaged buttons. Have a go. If you do, let me know how you get on. Uh, I'd love to see them. Tag me on Instagram. I'm not doing much posting at the minute on Instagram, but I am going on looking. Yeah, every couple of days, so I should see it. Anyway, oh, I found that lost button. There we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.